No pun intended, but Tesla's been speeding in its transition to clean energy sources through electric automobiles, uh, solar systems, and integrated renewable energy solutions, and has become one of the industry's most well-known names. Tesla's not only transformed the way that cars operate, but also made a huge beneficial contribution to sustainable living. Currently, electric vehicles can't really be imagined without Tesla, and further, by extension, Elon Musk. And they ain't about to quit anytime soon, either. Elon Musk has disclosed that the business plans to release three new Tesla automobile models on the market by 2023, and if it all goes as planned, 2023 will be a watershed moment for the corporation. Let's have a look at where what are the three new Tesla EVs that are going to be released in 2023. In recent years, Tesla has risen to become one of the world's major EV manufacturers, if not the leader. The company's brand has become so intimately identified with electric vehicles that it's now honestly nearly difficult to discuss electric vehicles without mentioning Tesla or Musk. Tesla recently has some hurdles due to unsuspected concerns with safety of their vehicles, but that was overcome. In fact, they began delivering more vehicles than ever before. This is the result of the exponential surge in EV distribution that can be observed from the company's share price, which was recently witnessed at a strong upward trend. Tesla hasn't introduced many electric car models thus yet, owing to the company's emphasis on quality above quantity. However, if they are able to release three fantastic models in the same year, they'll have accomplished a tremendous achievement. The first in the lineup is a $25,000 Tesla vehicle. Elon Musk has long stated his desire to make Tesla a household name. However, with the present price of EVs, it goes without saying that they're kind of out of reach for the vast majority of people. Affordability, however, will be a thing of the past with a $25,000 Tesla model. Musk has already stated that Tesla is working on the notion of a low-cost car type, it will mostly likely priced around $25,000. He recently indicated that the manufacturing of automobiles is likely to commence in 2023 and that it will potentially reach the market. Tesla's $25,000 electric car has the potential to revolutionize the electric car market. If we can get these electric cars in the hands of people who are like, mm, I'd love to save the environment, but I literally do not have the money. If we can get these cars into the hands of them, oh, it's going to change so much. Though Tesla hasn't officially named the vehicle, it is widely assumed it'll be known as the Model 2. Because supporters believe that if there's a Model 3, you know, the Model 2's gotta exist. Musk also stated that the Model 2 will most likely lack a steering wheel. Although we've all heard of self-driving cars, we're talking about the Level 5 self-driving cars here. This means the car's gonna be able to navigate any difficulties as if they were a person. As a result of technological advancements, we may soon see cars without steering wheels or even pedals. Musla announced Musk Musla. <laughs> I think I just combined Musk and Tesla. Musk announced the company's new unique battery during the Tesla's Battery Day in 2020, which will not only lower the costs but also considerably extend battery life. The 4680 battery is likely to be the deciding factor for this low-cost Tesla model, since it is one of the most significant components of electric vehicles, determining their range and their power. Previously, Tesla had begun outsourcing its batteries, but with the new battery, that company will continue to concentrate on producing these power packs in-house, which will considerably lower the cost and assist them in meeting the Model 2 price target. The Cybertruck comes next in the race. Musk also announced that the mass manufacturing of this much-anticipated Cybertruck will begin in late 2022, with a target date of 2023. The Cybertruck is equipped with a very robust steel exoskeleton, which Tesla says is in the same steel used by Musk's own spaceflight business, SpaceX, for its rockets. So, yeah, the rocket truck. The projected range for this beast is over 800 kilometers, and the acceleration is from 0 to 60 miles per hour may happen in as little as 2.9 seconds. The Cybertruck may not be seen on the European market very soon due to its rather large size and design. Musk, on the other hand, may be unconcerned about this, given the fact that the United States is the world's largest market for pickup trucks. The, the truck also incorporates self-leveling suspension, which adapts for varying loads on the vehicle. The Cybertruck will be available in a variety of configurations, some of which have all-wheel drive, too. If the latter is successful, it'll also include Tesla's all-new 4680 battery. The vehicle will be outfitted with electricity converters, eliminating the need for transport portable generators. Uh, users will be able to draw electricity from the vehicle itself. It's also been claimed that these vehicles come with solar roof options, which might add around 15 miles to their range. To our surprise, Tesla also intends to release the Robovan, an autonomous driving van. We already know that Tesla has a lot of initiatives in the work, but the business appears to be interested in pushing the envelope. Elon Musk claims that the Robovan will be more of a mass transit vehicle, making traveling more easier for persons with impairments. This implies that the entry and egress of Robovan will be greatly optimized. Again, these features make it an ideal means of transportation for those with impairments who have difficulty accessing traditional modes of transportation. Active air suspension, which will be employed in the Cybertruck, is going to be beneficial to the cause. The Robovan is anticipated to transport 12 passengers at a time, which is more than any Tesla Model 
to date. Musk's Boring Company has already stated that it'll build a loop transit system to make mobility far more convenient than it is presently. The Robovan is a fantastic addition to the system, despite the fact that the Robovan is still in the concept stage, but with Tesla's groundbreaking technology, nothing seems too far away from reality, does it? As a bonus, Tesla intends to revive the Roadster, and there have been numerous rumors about its return, but nothing has actually been confirmed as of yet. Tesla's Roadster was the company's first electric vehicle, and it is also the company's quickest electric vehicle. The Roadster sparked a lot of attention, but sales were lower than predicted due to the high price. After four years in the production line, the Roadster was phased out in 2012. However, Tesla then revealed its plans for the second generation Roadster, claiming that it'll be the greatest electric vehicle on the market. Though the construction of the second generation Roadster has been delayed for several years, Tesla is expected to begin production in 2023, or they're scheduled to. If the Roadster performs as expected, the second generation Roadster is going to undoubtedly dominate the high-end electric vehicle market. I mean, Tesla will almost certainly consider increasing output at its gigafactories in Shanghai and Berlin, but let's take a closer look at what this beast has to offer. The Roadster, according to Tesla, will be a four-seater, all-wheel drive sports car capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in just under 1.9 seconds. Yeah, I was going to say just under two seconds, but I was like, let me, let me tell you how specifically amazing it is. Aren't there some astounding features? Aside from the base model, Musk has hinted at the premium edition, which is likely to include a SpaceX package. Yeah, and now that captures my interest. Yeah, yeah, Tesla intends to install roughly 10 miniature rocket thrusters that'll be integrated into the car. These rockets, it appears, is gonna boost the acceleration, top speed, braking, cornering abilities. According to rumors, this is gonna be Tesla's take on a flying car. Tesla, on the other hand, is working hard to innovate as much as possible in order to provide its consumers with the greatest possible experience that they can. Tesla also promises that the car will have a 200 kilowatt per hour battery, which effectively doubles the capacity of any Tesla model. It'll also have a range of approximately a thousand kilometers. The second generation Roadster will have three motors, one in the front and two in the rear, allowing for all wheel drive. So without saying anything, we all know that the Roadster will be available with significantly improved self-driving technology. All of the automobiles shown by Tesla in the year 2023 were intended to be in production by now, but owing to different shortages and ongoing research and development, the deadlines kept getting pushed back. Musk has a poor track record of sticking to deadlines, but this time he appeared rather certain of his assertions. With all of the gigafactories scheduled to operate by almost full capacity at this year, Tesla might be able to deliver on their promises for the following year. If Tesla achieves all of its goals within the time frame stated, 2023 is undoubtedly going to be one of the most exciting years in Tesla's history. And I don't want to bring in like what's happening with the world, but yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to have an exciting year. 2022 is already off to a rocky start, and I don't even need to explain why. So, yeah, let's hope Tesla can spice up 2023 with three to four new cars in production, along with the manufacturing of earlier models. Now, I'm not like a super big car guy, but these are electric cars, and I love the environment. So, yeah, Tesla's rapidly approaching the position of leader in the overall vehicle sector. So, what do I, what do you think about Tesla's revised timeline? Do you think Tesla's gonna be able to keep its promise, or do you think everyone's gonna get disappointed again with its lofty ambitions?